guys, it's Clara. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to film a video about how I organize our linen closet with some Dollar Tree items. Now, if you've seen my previous videos on organizing, you might notice that some of the system is very similar to what I had in the condo, but the difference is in our new house that we no longer have a stockpile room. So there are items like toiletries and cleaning items that had to be moved to the linen closet. So this here is our new linen closet. So at the top I have some bigger blankets, then towels, then some of your smaller toiletries, and some other toiletries on the next shelf, sheets, and then some of the heavier kinds of items. I'm sure you've seen these baskets from the Dollar Tree. They come in all sorts of colors. And I put our heavier cleaning items down here. So the sanitizer, some liquid, hand soap, and then some of the sprays and soft scrub, that kind of thing in those Dollar Tree bins. And then in the middle, uh, shampoo and conditioner tends to weigh pretty heavily on these kinds of shelves. And um, I find it frustrating when shelves like this bend and they bow in the middle from having so much weight. So in order to keep these still grouped together and not having to spread them apart because of weight, um, I put them on a basket at the bottom. So shampoo and conditioner there. And then my husband and I are big um, proponents of body washes and loofahs. We hardly ever use bar soap anymore, so we keep the heavier body washes down here. And then off to the side are just some miscellaneous kinds of items. They're kind of items that I put there when I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to keep them yet. I keep these red sheet sets just because I wonder if I'm going to use them at Christmas or not. But I'm honestly, I'm tempted to get rid of them because I haven't used them in so long. Um, and it's just kind of sitting there just in case. You know, if we have guests or something and somebody spills something on sheets or whatever, at least I have a backup. And then on the next level is where I put our dust ruffles, our duvet covers, our pillowcases, sheets, etc. And I like having these all on one shelf. That way I'm not searching between different shelves. And I have seen on Pinterest the trick to put sheet sets in pillowcases, but that never ever worked for me. For one thing, it seemed like the mattress cover and the sheets would not fit in a pillowcase. It seemed like it was... Um, too small, you know, it would kind of overstuff it. And then when I would put it in the closet, it just looked awkward to me. Plus, I find that sometimes, you know, if you have children and, um, you know, they spill something on one of the sheets or something and you don't want to change the entire sheet set, then um, I like keeping it like this. That way I can just grab what I need. So if they dirtied up a pillowcase, I just grab a pillowcase or a, a flat sheet or whatever. Um, plus, I think what I'm going to start doing with with the upcoming years when I do buy sheets is to keep them along the same theme so that, you know, if it's gray, beige, white, you know, they kind of go along together. They might not match exactly, but that's totally fine with me. And then on the next level is where I have blankets. So on the sides here, along the sides of these baskets are some of these smaller blankets that I use. If it's just cool, you know, it's not too cold. Um, they're hand knitted blankets. They're quilted blankets that were presents and gifts. We use these sometimes on the floor if we have babies over. Um, we use these sometimes if it's in the summer and it gets kind of cool, but you don't want to whip out a huge comforter. Um, it's nice to have these kinds of thinner blankets. That way you don't have to wash a big huge comforter in the summer. Plus I like having these kinds of blankets on a lower shelf. That way they're easier to keep organized. You know if I throw them on the very top shelf it's hard for me um, with my short height to keep them all lined neatly so that you know sometimes if you want to pull a blanket if you prefer to do this one or to this one um, and you're yanking them out sometimes it can wreck the whole entire stack but if it's on a lower shelf it's a lot easier to keep this pretty neat then at the middle here is where I keep some of my toiletries. So in this basket, I throw all of our oral care stuff. So there's dental floss in here, there is toothpaste, there's extra toothbrushes, that kind of thing. And in the middle is where I keep all the shaving stuff. So shaving gel, razors, aftershave, sprays, all those kinds of things. And then on this side is where I keep our miscellaneous basket 
for linens. I think it's really nice to have a basket like this in your linen closet for those smaller kinds of items that don't really have a specific category and you don't want them you know scattered all over the closet. So stuff like um, duvet clips I keep in here, some extra uh, runners for the upstairs tables, some extra hand towels. I have an extra um, shower curtain in there from when we joined houses when we got married. And then on the next two shelves above are the ones that probably see the most action during the week. They are the towels shelf and the toiletry shelf or most of the toiletries. So first starting on the very left here is where I keep even more cleaning items, stuff that's not too heavy that I don't have to put at the bottom basket. So we access these garbage bags um, at least once or twice a week. And um, as you can probably recognize, there's some Dollar Tree items here. So stuff to freshen your carpet, uh, a cleaning spray. I love, love, love these sponges from the Dollar Tree. And I love how sometimes they come in a pack of three, so that's cool. And then there's some paper towels back here. And then in this bin, so I really, really love these baskets from the Dollar Tree. Like I've said before, they kind of work like drawers that you can pull in and out. And when you have smaller items like this, it's really nice to be able to do that rather than having to shift bottles off to the side and then they topple over and then it looks like a gigantic mess. So here's where I keep body kinds of stuff. So stuff like antiperspirant and lotion. Um, this is the vitamin E oil that the Dollar Tree has been carrying lately. There's some scrubs for the body as well. And I really like tins like this. This is also from the Dollar Tree from way back to kind of hold items that are really small that are not going to really stand up or that more easily topple over. And then in the next basket, I have stuff that goes on the head. <laughs> so other than the shampoo and conditioner, which was at the bottom basket, I have some of my facial wipes, some lotion for the face. I have the contact solution that I use, the hairspray, um, and as you can see, the Salon Selective's deep conditioning treatment, the facial wash that I really like. And off to the right here is where I have um, some miscellaneous items that, and to the right here is where I have some miscellaneous toiletry items. So there's Q-tips in here, there's bar soap, because sometimes we have guests that prefer bar soap, so I keep it around still for them. Um, some tissues and then some smaller kinds of items there. And then way off to the right is where I keep some feminine products as well. On the next shelf, I keep the face towels and hand towels in these kinds of baskets from the Dollar Tree. Um, they do have handles on them, but I honestly, they're kind of, I don't know, they're kind of wonky looking. They look a little crooked and stuff. So I just have those facing at the back and then just have this clean front here and then label them accordingly. So here is where I keep the smaller face towels and hand towels here. Off to the right is where I have some miscellaneous kinds of towels. So towels for the beach, um, towels I use to dry the car or to dry the dog when she has a bath. And then I have our bath towels here off to the left. And then at the very top is where I put a lot of our larger comforters and our duvets, our specialty kinds of comforters. I think eventually though, I will have to paint this closet, but that's a project that can wait for years down the line. One nice tip though, sometimes if your comforters are getting a bit too unruly, which right now they seem to be pretty okay, um, you can use things like bungee cords or ties. So off to the left here is where I keep some bungee cords that I had bought from the Dollar Tree and I just hung them off a command hook. And I made sure to use the command hook that has a fairly large end to the hook. I don't know if you could see that there. That way you can hang multiples of those bungee cords. Um, sometimes those hooks are too small and you can only hang maybe one or two. Okay, so that is it for my linen closet that I organized with a lot of Dollar Tree items. If you have any tips or tricks or other things that you like to do to organize linens, please let me know and thank you so much for watching. Take care.